downtown. We finished up the windmill uh, park, which, which was nice. They, they had quite a few different varieties of tulips. You'll probably see 77 minutes of video on that. We're up back town, downtown now on A Street. And uh, two places, three places we're looking for. Uh, I'm looking for an ice cream store. And Sonny wants to go to a Dutch bakery, which is up here. And also we're going to look for a uh, coffee shop. She wants some coffee to go. Then after that, after that healthy lunch of whatever we can get in the ice cream store and the Dutch bakery, uh, I think we're going to go over to Holland Beach State Park. So we'll see you when we get somewhere interesting. Well, I can report that the Kilwins chocolate and ice cream is excellent. Uh, I can back that up with the evidence that that's all that's left in my ice cream. It was very good. I passed on the chocolates because, you know, healthy living is part of my lifestyle. However, Someone is still eating her ice cream and no sharing. We don't have to go into, we don't have to go into the details. <laughs> All right, Edith May is off to check out gourmet coffee and I'm gonna walk a couple shops down and look at the bake, Dutch bakery and delicatessen. As soon as the crowd opens up and I can leave. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. Well, I must have been mistaken about the bakery. So we'll just give up on that one. Yeah, crowds are really starting to pick up now. I think we're going to head back down to public parking and then go over to the state park. So I'll get back to you half hour or so. down here at Lake Michigan, actually at the uh, day use part of Holland State Park. Lake Michigan, the All-American Lake. And you can see where we're at. We're north of South Haven and south of Grand Haven. We're at Holland. And tomorrow we are heading up to Ludington. And then after that, we're going up to Mackinac Island. So we're just going to take a little walk around, film a little bit. It's a beautiful day today. And I'm dressed for the sand. I have long pants on and uh, heavy sh shoes. So it ought to be just perfect. So let's take a little walk around. No alcohol, beverages, no glass containers. I can understand the glass containers and I can understand the no dogs, but I'll be damned if I'll come to the beach without alcoholic beverages. It's not going to happen. Well, it is today because I'm not going to stay here very long. But I'm guessing this is the channel. Well, it must be that comes out of the lake back there which makes I guess the harbor for Holland beautiful something over there I have no idea what it is I know I can't afford to either eat there or stay there so we'll just take a little walk out
water temperature is probably around 72, right? <laughs> Maybe a little, a little cooler than that. Is that a Philmont hat? Huh? New Mexico. Okay. It's not, yeah. It's yeah. not Philmont. It's just New Mexico. New Mexico. I was there in the fall. And lost my hat. And if you're bald, you don't go very far without no, no. a hat. I gotta go put my <laughs> hat back on. <laughs> That's well, a very beautiful beach. That almost looks like a dredging operation going out there. And it may be. Let's see what the sign says. It takes all the fun out of guessing. I don't have four wheel drive feet, so I hope I don't get stuck in the sand. Because I can tell you, Edith May's not going to come bailing me out. Holland Harbor Lighthouse, first built in 1872. In 1880, the Lighthouse Service installed a new light on a metal pole and a protective cage. In 1907, the present structure was erected and was fully automated in 1932 and abandoned in 1970. Oh, how times change. I guess if you have GPS, you don't really need lighthouses anymore. Well, this is a beautiful beach. Very pretty. You can walk all the way out there to the uh, to the mouth of it. Caches living dangerously. Waves flood the surface, keep off during storms. Well, and just looking around, there's not a cloud in the sky, so I'm going to chance it. I'm just going to live reckless and walk out there. So this is the NOAA weather station here. know nothing about fishing in Lake Michigan. I know when I was very young we lived here. We caught perch. Now I think lake trout are one of the big sports sport fishes in this lake. crystal clear water. Oh, 
Uh, if you were a college student, you'd be out there just like that. If you're 74 years old, you're lucky to make it this far. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, they are dredging out there. Very pretty. Well, I might as well head back and get Edith May. She's not quite as adventurous and outdoor. Maybe something to do with her lily white skin. All right, let me grab this. And with my thick curly hair to protect me, I'm good for about 15 minutes out in the sun anymore. So we'll just head back and wrap this up. Hi. Well, you can feel the cold coming off the water. It's really nice. Just a perfect day today. I guess you can surmise by the uh, angle that these guardrails have been pushed back. There's some pretty decent waves at this. So that's a very quick trip to Holland Beach State Park in Holland. And I don't know where we're off to next today. We'll just have to see.